Welcome back, my lava lava crew, my lava lava who, my lava lava you because I love love you. Yes I do, yes I love love you. Yes I do, yes I love I love you. Yes I do, I love you. Early on this Sunday morning, everybody else is maybe sleep or they may be woke for me doing my thing this morning. I don't know, but I'm coming to you with this keto breakfast. Yes, I am. I'm still out and I'm still on it. Ain't been but two days, three, two, two or three, and I'm still on it, okay? I'm still on it. Now, let me tell you what I have. I have sausage here. I have some bacon here, and then I have like... The mini bell peppers, this is the um, yellow and the red and some onion. Some sauteed spinach, some eggs, and these are the Rakito pancakes that I showed y'all in my grocery haul the other day. So I made this up, I made one serving. And one serving is doo -doo -doo -doo, five net carbs. So in this whole meal, I have about 10 net carbs. I have my coffee here because I wanted the coffee this morning. And this is the creamer I use. I always talk about it if you're watching any of my other videos. Kroger's sugar-free French vanilla creamer, non-dairy creamer. That's what I use in that. <laughs> and that's gonna offer up two carbs in itself. So maybe 12 carbs in this whole meal. And if I only eat like two meals a day, I'm rocking and popping. What you say? <laughs> two strips of bacon, maybe two ounces of sausage. Nyeh, 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 nyeh. Hey, hey. I can do this, y'all. I told y'all. I do have some sugar-free syrup to go on my pancakes, y'all. And it says, ew, five carbs pour two tablespoons. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm not doing two tablespoons. I ain't giving up them carbs like that. That's just too much. So, I wish I had a little teaspoon <laughs> where I can really measure it out. If I can get it opened up. Okay, there we go. If I can get it opened up, so I'm not even gonna squeeze good, but I know this is thinner than regular. <laughs> yeah, I'm drip dripping. I don't wanna give up no carbs for that. We gonna just rub it out. So that's maybe a half a tablespoon. I'm gonna drip drip and rub it out. That's it, that's all we need. Mm-hmm. Let's get into this sausage. Sausage. Mm-hmm. And the onions. Well, I guess I could have cooked. Cooked it with my um spinach, the onions and stuff. Egg, onions, bell pepper, spinach. I'm bell peppers and onion good. I also have water. So y'all, I recorded myself cooking this. <laughs> and the child, let me just tell you, it's different from doing a mukbang. But we gonna see how they go. If it went well, then y'all saw it previous to this video. If it did, then maybe y'all just didn't see it. <laughs> if y'all didn't see it, y'all know why. Oh, I told y'all I'm gonna make them pancakes look good too then in the other video. Because uh, my flipping action wasn't do good. Okay, oh, that's so good, that's so good, that's so good. Okay. We're gonna try them pancakes out in just a second. I'm jumping on this stuff that I know is good. Mm, 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 mm. 
I'm thinking I ate up all my spinach. But I guess that's a good thing. Let's see. That's why it cooked the way it is. Hmm. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. You can taste the coconut flour in it, which I like coconut. It's not strong, but you can taste it in it. And I almost have more of a... You know how you make cornbread kind of like with flour and meal sometimes? And it has like a different texture to it. That's how that 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 is. I was wondering why I wasn't flipping right, so it wasn't me. Bacon. It was not. <laughs> it was not me. I'm gonna drop my macros. I'm going to put it in this video on my community tab. I think it's going to be easier for me to put it on my community tab anyway. So if you're interested, be looking into that. I was supposed to record last night. Well, I was going back and forth on whether I was. And then, as I was cooking my wings, I got them on, got them in the, in the fryer and everything. I was letting them do their thing, and I was sitting over there, we were watching TV. And all of a sudden, my sister was like, hey, mute that right quick. Tornado sirens were going off. Honey, y'all know anything about me? I love weather. I, sh I went into the wrong field. I should have did meteorology or, you know, I need to be a storm chaser. <laughs> so I opened up the door and I was standing outside, outside the door, kind of watching the TV and, you know, standing outside uh, looking at the skies and everything. Oh, it was so beautiful. The way the sky was lightening up because, you know, it hadn't directly made it to us yet. Instead, it was like 19 uh, minutes from us, according to the meteorologist on TV. It was 19 minutes from us. And um, so it hadn't made it. It was really, really calm, really, really still outside. But you could see the lightning in the distance. And I tried to get on camera because at one time it looked like spider webs going across the sky. Beautiful. I absolutely love the sauce and I there watching that. Up until the wind picked up. Then the wind picked up and um, then a little bit after that it started raining. So me and my neighbors were out there talking. <laughs> and she was like, girl, make sure y'all got your shoes on. That way if anything happened, you ain't got to worry about stepping on no glass or nothing. So I made sure me and my children had our shoes on and everything. My sister and my niece had gotten back in the tub and bathroom. <laughs> so that's where they were during that time. Me and my kids were at the door. So um, we were standing there talking to the neighbor up until like, it really picked up. Now once it really picked up, all of us kind of went inside and did our thing. I kind of kept looking out the window and stuff. Because it was just fascinating. Weather is so fascinating to me. And then by that time, it was over. It started dying down. Nothing major happened. However, them wings I had on the stove, I forgot about them. Straight forgot about them. Burnt my wings. Like they weren't burnt. Through and through. But you can taste that little burnt on it. And, uh -uh. 
that don't fly with me. So remember, I told you they said it had like 19 minutes before it reached us. So we had waited out those 19 minutes and it had gone past us. So those wings were in there cooking about 20, 25 minutes. <laughs> they really were. All right, see? I ain't need no one. <laughs> Anytime I do keto, I love my onions, my bell peppers. And I try to throw some kind of vegetable in it too. Normally like spinach or um, sauteed zucchini squash. That's me, that's my preference. That coffee is good. I also like broccoli, especially if I'm doing like an omelet. I may throw it in there. Surprisingly, if y'all, I'm kind of getting kind of full. <laughs> oh, I did put cheese in my eggs. I put the uh, smoked gouda. There is a difference in cheeses when it comes to carbs. If you buy the shredded cheese over, you know, the deli area, it's, they have a filler or something that's added to it, which adds to your carbs. And they do that so the cheese won't clump back together and it'll stay shredded for you. Well, I buy my cheese... I become bougie like of late, like the last within the last month with my cheeses. And I buy my cheeses over in the produce section over there, that area over there where they have like a cheese bar out. And I buy it and I shred it myself. When I tell you that is the best cheese ever, I can just sit there and eat it. Just buy a wedge of and eat it. I kid you not. It is so good. Oh, pancakes are good. But since I'm getting full, I'm not going to eat the rest of those. I'm probably not going to eat the rest of this. But I'm not going to eat the rest of those because I don't want to give my carb count to that. <laughs> You know, and that's what you have to kind of think about when you're doing keto. It's things that you can have, and there's things that people have made keto friendly. <laughs> but do you want to give your carbs to that? And we'll go in, I'll try to go in a little bit more in depth on another video about things like the pancakes and the different sweets and stuff like that. Instead of just keeping it more of a whole food type of thing which is pretty much what I had on everything else on my plate. It's whole food. You will get full from the fats and everything. So, where I had about 10 to 12 carbs on my plate, maybe about 15 once I added the syrup, um, no, because I only add a little bit, so about, we're going to say 15. So if I have 15 total carbs, which I said, I'm going to put the macros, I'm going to calculate them, put the macros on my community pad. We'll see how close I get. And I had 15 total carbs, and I'm full, but I only ate half of what I put on my plate. It's just a sitting pretty, Okay. <laughs> Y'all been bear with me. I told you. 
Man, my skill got to become friends again. And right now, we ain't liking each other. I ain't liking it one bit. Another thing that probably got me full, coffee. Normally, I would just drink a cup of coffee in the morning time, and that'll keep me full to about noon. Coffee stifles, Jerry. Um, I need a napkin. Hold on. Anyway, so coffee stifles your appetite mine anyway and i really don't be want anything else that's gone good and gone i brought my cup out i can do all things through him jesus christ hallelujah who gives me strength i try to read it through the camera <laughs> And then I have my water bottle up here that I was drinking. I'm full. I'm about to go. So, until we meet again in the next video, y'all take care. Be blessed. Stay well. So, until we meet again, same place around the same time. May God bless you and keep you in perfect peace, y'all. May God bless you and keep you in perfect peace, y'all. May God bless you and keep you in perfect peace, y'all. Guys, just showing y'all my lunch on today, and I have buffalo wings. Then I have the sweet peppers on top, and I have some that's cut up. I'm probably not gonna eat the ones on the side; they're just there to be cute. <laughs> so that's what I have. I have some ranch on the side, and I have a crystal light to drink. That's what I have. I want to show y'all the wing sauce. It is Louisiana wing sauce. And it has one card. And then I have, that's the Hidden Valley Ranch. And it is two carbs for two tablespoons. So, in all in all, I probably have about five carbs here. So that, along with my breakfast, would be about 20 carbs total so far. So that's what I'm eating. If you want one, you better grab you one. Because <laughs> I'm about to take this out. See y'all later.